Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your week. So today's video, I wanted to do a updo for you all. But before we get into the video, I want you to go ahead and thumbs up this video. Give it a big like. I put in a lot of work for today's tutorial. And also, if you are new to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button so you won't miss my next video. Because today I'm going to show you how to do a updo with your wig without needing help doing it. So let's jump right in. The beautiful pre-colored brown wig that I will be sharing in today's video comes from Ronnie Hair. It will be linked below in the description box. Make sure to click that link and use that discount code if you want to save money when purchasing this wig. This is a 13 by 6 lace wig and today you will see what you can do with this wig as far as the versatility of wearing it up instead of just down. Because this wig is already a brown color, you will not need to bleach the knots. However, I did use the even tinted lace, the light beige, and I tried to use the um, tannish one, but I was out of it. So instead, I used the True Match tan tinting spray around the hairline area where my forehead is, and I used the lighter color at the cap of the wig. So we're going to jump right into the styling portion of this video now for today's updo I definitely wanted to show you all how you can achieve the look without doing this on your head So the first thing I'm going to do before I get into the styling is to blow out the hair because it is a body wave texture And I want to make sure that the hair is flowing the way I need it to flow and a lot of times the hair just looks so much better when you take a dryer to it and just do a blowout. It looks more natural. It gives it that texture that you want. So that's what I'm doing and I'm using my brush dryer. I will also link this below in the description box. Now let's talk about the hairline on this wig. It does come with a super pre-plucked hairline and as you all can see, you don't need to do any work to it. So the best thing about today's video that I really appreciated was the fact that I didn't have to tweeze the hairline. I can just go right into styling. I didn't even need to bleach the knots because the hair, like I said, is a brown color. So minimum work was needed for today's wig. Now for this type of style, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like a little bit of edges will make it look more natural. It's just up to your preference. If you don't want to, you can skip past this part. However, I like just a little bit of wispy baby hairs around my wig, especially when the hairline is going to be pulled completely back because I don't like the square look of the hairline, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking just little sections of hair out around the hairline and using my hot comb to lay it down. Next, I separate the top half of the hair from the bottom, and now we're going to move into smoothing down this area. Now, this is probably the most important part of the video because if you are going to wear your hair half up, half down, you wanna make sure that the ponytail is laying as flat as possible. And when you separate the hair, make sure to separate at the area where the wefts separate from the lace. That will give you a really flat install. I'm using a little bit of holding spray and hair mousse. Now this hair mousse right here is thick. So it's the perfect one to use if you want to get rid of flyaways. Um, to be honest you all, I actually had to smooth this down like 10 times and 
how hard is it to create a tight ponytail like for real you want to make sure also that your lace is pinned down so that you won't get any bulging and you make a mistake and pull some of that cap up if you know if you guys know what i'm talking about let me know um because if you do it's a possibility your cap won't fit correctly so just make sure that wig is pinned down to that canvas head correctly now i'm just going to cover up that hair tie with a strand of hair The wig is coming together very well. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some curls around the back of the hair. And I decided to add curls because I wanted to give it a little bit more style. Now, if you like the blowout look, you can definitely wear it like that. I think it's really cute. However, just for the demonstration purposes of today's video and to show you how well this wig can curl, um, I decided to add, it, add curls. Now, I will be sure to put this flat iron below. I do use my flat iron on about 450 when I create my curls just because I don't like to leave it on the hair long. And as you've seen at the beginning, I put, you know, sprays on there to defrizz the hair to make sure that there's no frizz with the curls. <laughs> Girl, that hairline is gorgeous. As you all can see, I'm so glad I did not have to tweeze or anything. Um, but this style is so simple and I definitely think you all can achieve this. I see a lot of people creating this style while the wig is on their head and I'm just like, it's so much easier to pre-style your wigs rather than doing it on your head. Um, and guess what? When you do it this way, you don't need any help. You don't need to go to a salon. You can do this by yourself. And if you mess up, you can just try it again. However, I don't see this style being something that you could really mess up just because it is so simple. And because that hairline comes already custom, you don't need to take it to a stylist to get your wig customized. So you got the best of both worlds here. You got the color, the pre-style hairline good to go girl so i am just adding those curls at that ponytail just to finish out this style So now we're ready to install the wig. I'm not doing no ball cap method. We are not making this more complicated. We're just gonna put this wig on with a regular wig cap. And I'm gonna show you how you can easily install it without all the extra. So first thing I'm doing is making sure the wig hairline is positioned. And I'm going to just push that wig cap back so it's behind the thinned out hairline. If you do it that way, you will not see it. And as you can see, just putting it on, everything fits perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the ear tab area so that it can fit from ear to ear properly. Now, before we glue this wig down, let me just say this. Do not take this wig hairline all the way down to your eyebrows, okay? We want a good space at the forehead area, and I'm not saying this to make fun of anyone. I want you to make sure you are following it right in front of your natural hairline. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it being in a wrong position now if you have a lot of edges um, You can definitely leave your natural edges out and just set the wig behind your hairline 
So I am using the even spray and I'm spraying it over top of the lace. That way I can just kind of press it down with my sleigh band, which you all will see in a second, and just make sure that it's good. Now, as you can see, that lace blends so well. I, I bet you thought I removed the lace. I have not removed that lace yet, you guys. That's how good it blends with my skin. So I'm just gonna tie it down with the sleigh band and then we'll move on to the next step. Now this wig comes with that clear lace so it's very undetectable like you guys probably can't even see look there you go you see it <laughs> so i am going to take a razor and remove the lace at the forehead area just because this area i don't want it to be a straight cut line uh, i don't want to look like i had a tape i want it to flow naturally so it's definitely important to use a razor here now because i left the edges out around the sides I am just going to use my scissors to cut away that lace only because it's going to be covered by the natural edges of the wig. The last step I'm going to do is curl those baby hairs. This makes it easy to get the baby hairs to flow the way you want them to. However, I'm not going to make them too intense. I'm just going to keep them very soft and just kind of lay them down with some Eco Styler gel. Um, so yeah, you guys definitely drop me some comments. I would love to hear your feedback on today's video. And if you have not seen Sunday's video, make sure to click that card at the top of the screen the eye so that you can go check out the video i did from sunday and i will see you all back on thursday for another video this week oh and i am going to add a bit of this tan spray around the hairline because the even warm beige was a little too light so yeah be sure to thumbs up the video subscribe and i will see you back in my next video thank you so much for watching Mwah.